Welcome back dito sa Milorops TV Salamat sa Diyos sa Padibagong Araw na bigay ni sa atin So ngayon guys, wow! may bagong topic na naman tayong pag-usapan ngayon Ito'y tungkol sa mga pagkain na nakakatulong sa atin Para maganda pang breakfast Or sa Tagalog pang almusal Madaling gawin at mga masustansyang pagkain na maganda sa ating breakfast at kung ngayon ka lang nakapadpad sa channel ko huwag sana niyong kalimutan na mag like, share comment at paki subscribe na rin at pakipindot yung bell button para updated kayo sa mga bagong video na i-upload every time nag-upload ako ng mga video na nakatulong sa atin para magkaroon tayo ng mga ideas idea para sa ating uh, health kung mahilig kayo sa ganitong video i-consider nyo ang Milraps TV to subscribe so huwag natin itong patagalin let's go Breakfast, I like to start out with a drink. Of course, I'll have my water first and then I'll either have coffee or tea. But lately, I've been having tea every single day for two weeks so far to prevent bloating because that's one of my biggest issues. And I'm trying my best to eat healthy again and stay fit. So speaking of fit, today I'll be using Fit Tea. This is not my first time trying out this tea. If you've watched my other breakfast ideas video that I posted last year, you'll see that I used it in there too. I just had to try it out and see what the hype was about. And I actually ended up loving the results So when they asked me this time if I wanted to try out the tea Of course I said yes because I had already tried it out And I already knew that I was going to love the results And personally this is one of my favorite detox teas Because I love the smell and the taste and all the natural ingredients in there And you can either have this tea during morning time or night time I prefer using it during daytime just to get my day started And you can either have it hot or cold and for me, I prefer using these teas at least once a year just to motivate me and improve my immune system and just cleanse my body, especially with the holidays coming up because girl, we gotta take care of that body. All right, first I'm gonna start with this delicious smoothie bowl. You're gonna need some fruit. You can use frozen fruit or fresh fruit. I like using frozen fruit. And I wish I had some acai because that's my favorite, but I didn't have any at the moment. And I'm also gonna add some coconut water, but you don't have to, you can just use water or any other juices or even milk. And since I am using frozen fruit, I'm not gonna add any ice to my blender, but if you are using fresh fruit, go ahead and add some ice. And I'm not gonna use all of the coconut water. I'm gonna fill it up halfway, that way it's a little bit thicker and not too runny or else our toppings will just sink in. All right, now that everything is blended, this is the consistency you want. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but it's okay, this will do. And I'm just gonna pour it into a bowl and then spread it out and add the toppings. All right, and now time for the fun part, the toppings. You can add whatever you want. I'm gonna cut up some strawberries and banana, and I'm also gonna add some shredded coconut, some chia seeds, you can use flax seeds too if you want. And I'm also gonna use some granola, I love granola. And at the end, I'm just gonna drizzle some honey, and that's it, pretty easy, right? All 
All right, next I'm gonna make this easy egg salad. I know this is pretty random, but all you're gonna need are some cucumbers, tomatoes, parsley, or cilantro, and of course, eggs. All right, first I'm gonna start dicing the cucumber, and then I'm gonna do the same to my tomato. Next, I'm gonna chop up some parsley. You can use cilantro if you want. They both taste delicious, but today I'm using parsley. All right, and now I'm gonna take my boiled eggs. You can add as many as you want, but I'm only gonna use two today. And I don't really care for the yolk, so I'm gonna take that out and just use the egg white. All right, now that I have everything into one bowl, I'm gonna add some salt, some cayenne pepper, and also some dried mint to add flavor. And it was so good. All right, next I'm gonna make some avocado toast. I'm pretty sure you've seen this everywhere, but it's so simple and it's so good. So first things first, I'm gonna pop a piece of toast in the toaster and then I'm gonna move on to the avocado. So I'm just gonna cut up the avocado. You can cut it however you want. This is the way I cut it. I find this way easier, but you just have to be careful so you don't stab yourself in the palm because I have done that before. And now I'm taking a fork and mashing the avocado and then I'm gonna spread it on my piece of toast and add my toppings. I'm gonna put cucumbers and tomatoes on mine but you can put whatever you want. And I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna move on to these delicious and easy egg muffins. And like everything else I've made, you can add your own twist to them. You can substitute things. So for example, if you don't like bacon, you can easily take that out and substitute it with something else or not even add it at all. But I am gonna use turkey bacon today. And while that's cooking on the skillet, I'm gonna move on to my veggies. So now I'm chopping up some green onions or scallions and I'm also gonna add some mushrooms and parsley. Now that I have my scallions, mushrooms, and cilantro into the bowl, I'm gonna add my bacon and my eggs. I'm gonna use four eggs, one whole egg and three egg whites, but you can use whatever you want or however you like your eggs. After I finished mixing everything together, I added some seasoning, and now I'm gonna take my mini cupcake tray. You can use a regular sized one, but I just think the mini ones are so cute. And then I'm gonna take a wheat piece of toast and start cutting it into small pieces and placing it on the bottom of the tray. You don't have to do this, but I just want to do this to get my carbs in there as well. All right, now that I have the bread on the bottom, I'm gonna start adding the mix. And you can also add some cheese if you want. I'm gonna add some, but not to all of them, just half of them so people can have that option. All right, now that I'm done, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. My oven is already preheated to 350 Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna place these in there for about 30 minutes, depending on how crispy you want yours. Um, so you can just keep checking on them and see how you like them. I left mine for 30 minutes, and these were the results, and I ended up loving them. So if you like your eggs to be a little bit crispy, leave them in there for 30 minutes. Alright, next I'm making this really simple parfait and this mason jar makes it look so cute. So first I'm just adding some yogurt. You can use any yogurt you want. I'm just using plain. And I'm going to add some granola, some of my favorite fruit, some honey, some chia seeds. And you can pop the lid back on and take it to go if you're in a hurry. This is perfect if you're running late for school or work. Next, 
Next, I'm making this sweet breakfast quesadilla. I don't even know what to call these. I saw something similar on Pinterest, but I'm gonna add my own twist. I'm actually gonna use almond butter instead of peanut butter. I'm gonna add some banana, some honey, some cinnamon, some dark chocolate chips, and then I'm gonna throw it on the skillet. So I decided to make another one, this time with strawberries. So same thing, I have my almond butter on the tortilla. I'm gonna add the strawberries, some shredded coconut, some honey, cinnamon, dark chocolate chips. You can use Nutella if you want, but I'm trying to make this a little bit healthier. So dark chocolate is better than Nutella in this case because we're trying to eat healthy, even though Nutella is so good. Next, I'm making these easy, no-bake protein slash energy bars, and these are perfect for post-workout or if you need a quick snack on the go. And the best part is you can add anything you want in these bars. I'm gonna add some walnuts, some almonds, and some pistachios, and then I'm gonna put them in my little blender. But don't leave them in there for too long like I did because they ended up being really tiny. And I also added one cup of oatmeal, some dried raisins, no, not raisins, cranberries, but you can add raisins or any other dried fruit. And I'm also gonna add some shredded coconut and some chia seeds and mix everything together. All right, now that I have everything mixed together, I'm gonna use some peanut butter. You can use almond butter, you can use PB2. PB2 is just powdered peanut butter. But I think I'm gonna use both of them because I'm so indecisive and I love the flavor. And now I'm gonna add the glue to my mix. This will help everything stick together. I'm using date paste and honey, but you can use honey alone or syrup. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna add is my protein powder. And the one I have is vanilla ice cream flavor. So this will make everything extra delicious. Oops, I almost forgot. I'm also gonna add some coconut milk, but you don't have to, you can just use water. And then I'm gonna mix everything together. I highly recommend mixing this with your hands because it's so much easier. Just make sure your hands are clean and then dig in. All right, now that I'm done mixing everything, I'm gonna take my parchment paper and throw the mix in there, and then I'm gonna spread it out with my fingers. You can use a spatula, but I just find it easier using fingers. That way you have more control. And once you're done with that, you can place it in the fridge for an hour, but if you need it sooner, you can put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And I put mine in the freezer for the sake of this video. So it's been 30 minutes. I just took it out of the freezer, and now I'm gonna start cutting it. I couldn't wait to eat this. Alright guys, this is it for my video. I really hope you enjoyed these recipes and I also hope that I made the steps really easy to follow. And like always, I will list everything down in the description. At kung gusto nyo na ma-shout out yung pangalan nyo, maglagay na rin kayo dyan sa comment box. Hashtag Melrose TV para ma-shoutout yung pangalan nyo.